Welcome to Face 52 Transformer Review. Today we have Studio Series 86, number 26, Dinobot Swoop. Alright, so first we take a look at the packaging. We have pretty box art. Studio Series Swoop Transformers. A flashy ball that doesn't come with it, but I forgot was in there. Look at that fancy shit. And on the back, we have more swoop. Swoop. Writings and swoop. Swoop comes with instructions. Small sword, big sword. Both are his swords. This does not come with any other Dinobot accessories. As the rumors had stated, that is not the case. Inside the box came a burrito wrap. That burrito wrap contained both missile and missile launcher sets. And no, they are not spring loaded. They have a simple hex shaped 5 milli peg hole and then of course the 5 milli. And here we go. I'm putting them in together for the first time and it's a little tight. That's what she said. Here we go. Get the other one in. There's that. All right. So those go on the underside of the wings, maybe. They can go wherever you want. All right. We got we got holy wings. We got holy arms. We got hand holds. And that's about it. Yeah. There's seems to be some ankle holes. So we can then that. He holds the swords in either hand. Maybe. There you go. Okay. Then on the back, you can peg the sword in there. Both swords can go on the wings. Wherever you want it, it's there. This neck seems a little high up. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, I knew there was something weird on this. I already transformed them once and I didn't get them completely back. So, there you go. So, there he is in robot mode. And. His wrists, articulation, his wrists do rotate 360. Uh, they go in and out due to transformation. Get rid of the sword. We have nice 90 degree elbow tilt. Does not go back. We have bicep swivel. We have 360 degree shoulder rotation. And then... Whatever that's called, I don't know. But yeah, lots of mobility here in the arms. We have a waist swivel. We have legs up, legs up. Look at that, like full on side splits. And he can do a full split too, look at that. Where's all your chairs, man? We can John clot it up here, boys and girls. All right, lots of rotation here. The due to transformation, the knee goes all the way up, 180 degrees, but does not. He is not double jointed here, but that's okay. His feet do have a problem uh, staying engaged, though. Yes, two five milli ports up on each foot for some reason. Don't know what's going on there, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Get that out of here for now. All right, so here he is. All right, as you saw, he's got the you can see. I'm trying to go as fast and without uninterrupted as possible, so I don't have to spend too much time editing. And. 
Hey, hey, it does. I fool. 180. Uh, we do have some head tilt. Not much. A little bit up, a little bit down. This chin kind of holds in the way. Uh, as you see, kind of does that. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't care. So there's that. Now, before we go transform it, I will note that his right shoulder clasps pretty well, but his left one is kind of, doesn't, they're both kind of loose, but the left one doesn't, doesn't snap at all, and I think that is mostly due to, um, this tab here that goes into here, it kind of, I don't know, for some reason I think it just blocks that from from fully as, as you can maybe you can see it I can see it I don't know maybe I got some bad lighting going on here uh, but yeah as you can see it kind of hits it's there so I don't know if I'm not transforming that part right or what to, uh, but, hey, you know what? Head goes up. All right. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure if this lower flap is being set right or what. Maybe it goes like that. That doesn't feel right at all. So, I think that's how it's supposed to go. But yeah, it kind of kind of limits that space there. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and get them. All right. All right. Let's get the transforming. We start off by flipping this down, and then pushing it up into the head. Then it comes down and locks into place there. Okay, now I'll open up the chest. Maybe. Pull up the head, like so. Bring both. Trying to open up the wing here. Open up the other wing. And then take some oomph and we can collapse the chest there into itself. Get the wings out of the way, get the arms out of the way, give it a good give it a good squeeze. There you go. You'll hear that snap. Now you know you're secure. Fold the hands in, fold the hands in. And then they just kind of rest on the side to get rid of the, get the uh, missile launchers out of the way here. The wings will now fold down and you'll see that we have tabs on both the upper, we have a tab on the lower arm and on the upper wing and then the ports on the upper arm and lower wing. Don't know why I need to say that because I'm showing it to you, but hey, you never know. Same thing on the other side. Alright, so there's that. That actually goes down in now. I might have messed that up. <laughs> I may have messed that up. But, yeah. So that, yeah, that folds down. And then just kind of... Give some robustness to the neck there. I don't even know if you saw that, but hey, I don't, I don't care. So we reshoot that per... So, this neck piece folds down, 
and then just slips behind the, the chest there. Get the head, head into position. The arms are locked into the wings. And now, we can just fold the feet up, which like I said, they have a hard time not doing that. So, uh, here we have some rather large, I guess, pigs. And then we have a gap here in in the uh, the toe on both toes there, and those line up like this, and they snap in like that. And already I'm messing up the arms. They kind of fit snug. They should, and they do. Okay, then we have the toes, make sure those are pointed out. Okay, then onto the wings. We straighten out that middle hinge here and here. And then we fold that out and there's a peg here. You notice there's also a peg here for when we go into robot mode that locks in. Then it locks out. So, unlock the in and lock it out. Um, obviously the missiles can go anywhere you want them. I'm just going to put them back on the, the inner, inner wing here. Woo! Alright. Uh, again, kind of has a hard time staying pegged in because the wings do like to move. But... So there he is in stand mode. He is standing. Standing like a good pterodactyl. And you can turn the head up like this for fight mode. Alright, and for comparison, here he is with the rest of the Dinobots. The Studio Series Dinobot Collection is complete. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Chrome Face out.